Hey everyone, Rachel Maddow here. Tonight, we're diving deep into the heart of the European Central Bank, the ECB. Picture this, Europe's economic engine is sputtering. Inflation is a real concern, but growth is slowing down. It's a tough spot, right? The big question on everyone's mind is whether the ECB should slash interest rates, and if so, by how much? Some say a half-point cut is the magic bullet. Others warn it's like using a chainsaw to trim your hedges. Way too aggressive. So, what's the right move? Let's break it down. We'll hear from both sides of the argument, weigh the potential consequences, and try to understand what's at stake for Europe and the world. But first, a quick Econ 101 refresher. The ECB aims to keep inflation under control, ideally around 2%. Right now, it's not even close. This is where things get interesting. What do you think? Should the ECB go for a big rate cut? Let us know in the comments. First up, let's hear from the Doves, the folks who believe a half-point rate cut is the best way to boost the economy. Their argument is simple. Lower rates mean cheaper borrowing for businesses and consumers. Think about it. When loans are cheaper, businesses are more likely to invest, expand and hire more workers. Consumers, meanwhile, have more money in their pockets to spend, which further stimulates the economy. The Doves argue that this boost in spending is exactly what Europe needs to avoid a recession. They point to sluggish growth and weak consumer confidence as warning signs that can't be ignored. But is a half-point cut too much? The Doves say no. They argue that with inflation still relatively low, the ECB has some breathing room to act boldly. What do you think? Are the Doves right? Is a half-point cut the shot in the arm Europe needs? Tell us in the comments. Now, let's hear from the other side of the table, the Hawks. These folks are wary of drastic measures like a half-point rate cut. Their biggest fear? Inflation. See, when you pump more money into the economy by lowering interest rates, you risk driving up prices. Think of it like this. More money chasing the same amount of goods and services equals higher prices for everyone. The Hawks argue that cutting rates too aggressively could push inflation out of control, eroding people's savings and creating economic instability. They believe the ECB should prioritize price stability above all else. Instead of a big cut, they favor a more cautious approach, perhaps a smaller rate reduction or even holding rates steady for now. They argue that this will keep inflation in check while giving the economy time to recover organically. What do you think? Are the Hawks right to be cautious? Is inflation the bigger threat? Let us know in the comments. OK, so we've heard from the Doves and the Hawks. Now, let's get into the nitty gritty. What are the potential consequences of a half-point rate cut? On the one hand, a bold move like this could be just what the doctor ordered, giving the European economy a much-needed boost. We could see businesses investing more, consumers spending more, and overall economic activity picking up. However, there's also the risk of unintended consequences. A sharp rate cut could weaken the euro, making imports more expensive and potentially fueling inflation. It could also lead to asset bubbles, as investors chase higher returns in a low interest rate environment. The bottom line is that there's no easy answer. A half-point rate cut is a gamble. It could pay off big time, or it could backfire spectacularly. What do you think? Is the potential upside worth the risk? Share your thoughts in the comments. Section 5. The price we pay. Inflation's bite on consumers. Let's talk about inflation for a minute. It's not just some abstract economic concept. It has real-world consequences for everyday people. When prices go up, our paychecks don't always keep pace. That means we have to stretch our budgets further to afford the same things, 
whether it's groceries, gas or rent. For people living on fixed incomes, like retirees, inflation can be especially tough. Their income stays the same, but the cost of living keeps going up, making it harder to make ends meet. This is why the Hawks are so concerned about inflation. They argue that keeping prices stable is crucial for protecting the purchasing power of ordinary people. What do you think? How has inflation affected you? Tell us your story in the comments. Section 6. Jobs on the line. Will rate cuts help or hurt? Another crucial piece of the puzzle is the job market. When the economy is strong, businesses are more likely to hire, creating more jobs and opportunities for workers. The Doves argue that a rate cut would stimulate economic growth, leading to more jobs and lower unemployment. They believe this is essential for ensuring a healthy and prosperous society. However, the Hawks counter that a rate cut could actually harm the job market in the long run they argue that if inflation spirals out of control, businesses may be forced to cut jobs to stay afloat. It's a complex issue with no easy answers. The relationship between interest rates, economic growth and job creation is intricate and can be influenced by a multitude of factors. What do you think? Will a rate cut help or hurt the job market? Let us know in the comments. Section 7. A Global Perspective Europe in the World's Economy It's important to remember that Europe doesn't exist in a vacuum. The global economy is interconnected, and what happens in one part of the world can have ripple effects elsewhere. For example, a rate cut by the ECB could weaken the euro, making European exports more competitive but potentially sparking trade tensions with other countries. Moreover, the ECB's decision could influence other central banks around the world. If the ECB cuts rates, it could put pressure on other central banks to follow suit, potentially leading to a global race to the bottom. The takeaway here is that the ECB's decision has implications that extend far beyond the borders of Europe. It's a high-stakes game with global consequences. What do you think? How will the ECB's decision impact the global economy? Share your thoughts in the comments. Section 8. The decision looms. What will the ECB choose? So, there you have it. The great ECB debate. On one side, the Doves urge for a bold half-point rate cut to boost the economy. On the other side, the Hawks caution against such drastic measures, fearing inflation and unintended consequences. It's a tough call and ultimately, the decision rests with the ECB's governing council. They have to weigh the potential benefits of a rate cut against the risks considering the complex interplay of economic factors and global implications. One thing's for sure, all eyes will be on the ECB as they make their decision. The outcome will have significant consequences for Europe and the world, shaping the economic landscape for months and even years to come. What do you think the ECB will decide? Place your bets in the comments. Section 9, your turn. Weigh in on the great debate. We've covered a lot of ground tonight, folks. We've heard from the Doves, the Hawks, and explored the potential consequences of a half-point rate cut. Now, it's your turn to weigh in. What do you think is the right course of action for the ECB? Should they go for the big cut and try to jumpstart the economy? Or should they play it safe and prioritise price stability? Head down to the comments section and let us know your thoughts. This is a conversation that affects us all, so let's hear your voices. 